Hey everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and today is the first part of my new Let's Play, which is Monsters Inc. Scare Island. Um, we're going to start the new game and watch the cutscenes now, so um, yeah. This is it, buddy, the big time. If we get through this, you and I could be the best screen producing team Monstropolis has ever seen. I can't believe we were handpicked by Waternoose himself to train at the Monsters Incorporated private facility. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. And you building up the situation like this is not helping. Relax, Mikey. Remember what happened on our first day of college. Please, don't remind me. Yeah, okay. But I don't want to deal with another mess like that. It took him a whole semester to rebuild the dorm. Didn't I say not to remind me? Okay. You're right. It's no big deal. It's only one of the most respected companies in all of Monstropolis. No problem. It's not like we're on the verge of a screen shortage or anything. We'll be fine. Well, I don't remember seeing a... Oh, no. We're not on the list. We are not on the list, Sully! How can this be? We filled out all the paperwork. Granted, it was extremely confusing, but come on! Oh, boy. What am I going to tell my mother? She'll be absolutely devastated! Oh, here we go. Sullivan, James P., and Mike Wazowski. You, too, have been enlisted in this training course because of your potential to become a top scare-producing team. While you are here, the two of you will work together to complete a total of 15 trials. That's right, 15 trials. If you can complete them all successfully, you will earn yourself a spot on the scare floor. Okay? Good. Please proceed through the elevator directly behind the help desk. Any questions, come see me. Welcome. Okay, so now we're going to go into the orientation level now, which is incredibly boring. Um, but I mean it just teaches you what to do um, what just happened there is um, um, Mike this is this game is before this game is before um, um, the movie um, it's where they get into the um, yeah that the mailboxes are um, very similar to the uh, like mailboxes and apescape that give you tips, except these ones are compulsory. It's really annoying. Anyway, so this game is this game is situated before they actually become part of the scare team in the movie. That this is like them training to become a, a big, a big, uh, formidable scaring group. Um, so currently we're doing jumps. Um, now with this jump here, you need to press X twice and then sort of be near the wall and you jump up. And also, I'm pretty sure that that is the voice acting of um, the Raz in the movie. She's just a, I love her voice acting. Now for attacking. Not that you know, great, you mad? Like it's this really funny voice, really like bored voice. Um, so now what we're doing is a roll, which is pressing square while moving, um, like that. Pretty simple. Um, now, if you press the X button followed by the square button, you'll do it like a a bounce. Um, we're using Mike at the moment. You can use Sully, um, and he does like a body slam, but like in Crash. Like to get some of the mechanics for this game is um, similar to Crash in a sense of you can spin. You're doing so well. Um, if you press the square button um, while you're not moving, you do a spin. Um, these things here are extra tries. Extra life, like what they're treating us like dumbasses. Um, yeah, when you collect one, you get an extra life. There is a major amount of lives. Yeah, in this game, there's heaps and heaps of lives. Um, um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, like you know, we've only got four lives right now. But by the time you're at the end of the level, you're like 32 lives. And even though 32 lives, like in a game like Crash, isn't much, and there's still lots of lives in that. Um, for this game, you just never die. You never die. Now the next stuff here we got to collect is Primordial Ooze, which is the same name as the level in the Apescape 1 NTSC version. <laughs> um, collecting this, now this stuff, the Primordial Ooze, it, connect, it allows you, the scare meter you've got um, on the left 
bottom left. Um, depending on which colour you have is depending on what nerve you can scare. Um, like here. Um, what we do is you press the circle button to fight him and then you tap the buttons on the right right, and then it will attack him. It's really it's hard to explain. Not really, I just can't explain it. Um, and that's basically how you uh, attack. I mean, attack, complete the levels. You're doing really well. See, now currently we can't scare that um, nerve there until we go green. Now we can. And each one green has two hit points. Um, see, so you have to continually tap the buttons, and yeah, basically, that's how they train. You know, they've got to scale the nerves. Training, uh, that's a bit weird. All right. So, now in here, we've got to scare a few more. Now, as you'll see, there are some nerves we can't scare yet, like the um, orange one we can't scare yet, um, until we get enough ooze, which will be, now, we'll just get this yellow one. Um, so yeah, this one has three hit points, um, then red has five hit points, and I'm pretty sure, no, yeah, no, obviously, um, orange has four hit points. Alright, so currently we still don't have enough. Um, the red, red primordial ooze um, gives you more, a um, larger amount of ooze in one go. Now here is a orange nerve. Sorry if I sound like I'm talking to you like, like patronising you like I'm a, like you're dumbass or something, but it's just yeah, it's pretty much what you do in the first part. You basically patronise them and say, you go here, then press the X button. Yeah. Now we walk across here and and scare this guy. Press the circle button, followed by the yeah. Okay, this should be the last one in the room. I'm pretty sure with that we get a bronze medal. Now, to complete a level, you need to get a bronze medal in the level. Um, basically, once you get all four bronze levels in the first hub world, um, yeah, you get a certain amount of stuff. Um, now, I'll just... Uh, it's, uh, I'll be able to explain more in the second part how it works with the three hub worlds. Um, you can never ever complete a level 100% because you always need a, a use of another power which you unlock. The first power is the trampoline, the second power is the boost, and the third power is the catapult, slingshot, whatever. So, yeah, that, that's the problem. Not the problem, but that's the, the way it works. Um, so, yeah, usually you need... Um, you, you need to get all of the uh, Monsters Inc. coins which we're getting now. You need all those coins to um, unlock the final eighth nerve. There's seven nerves in the level, then when you get all the coins, it then a secret nerve appears. Um, so, at, here you go, so now that's a silver medal. And to fully complete the game, you need to get all the gold medals in each level. So, and that's what we're trying to do, of course. I'm a 100% gamer. I'm not Mr. 100% gamer, I'm on, I'm a master 100% gamer. Not in a brag way, as in literally, um, Literally, literally a master, someone who's under 18, and Mr. 100P, pretty sure he's like 22 or something. He's a good YouTuber, by the way, in case he's watching uh, you do good videos, and I'd suggest to go subscribe to him. Alright. Okay, so now we just got to get the final um, oozes, I guess. Alright. Where the hell are they? Okay, here they are. Um, musically wise, I actually really like the orientation level music. I don't know why. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not the best music, but like some of it's really cool. It's got its own distinct style. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, after a while, their voices, um, Mike and Sully, get really funny, in my opinion. Okay, so that's got him, and X for the finale. Oh yeah, that's really gonna scare them. Oh my god, um, I ain't petrified. Like, even why would you even want to watch this video? It's too scary. Um, also there's a PS2 version of this game. Just to mention, um, the PS2 version is obviously graphically enhanced compared to this game. My theory with this whole 
thing, not issue, but this whole thing, is that they actually made the PS2 version first and then just downgraded the graphics on this one because that's graphically it's, it's it's okay, but I reckon it does have a few glitches. It's a bit blocky in some places. All right, this should be the final nerve, which will give us the gold medal. Uh, it's good that the orientation actually show you um, that you need to get the gold medal. Sometimes you can just leave the level when you do a um, when you do a level in um, uh, like the home world or whatever. So that's the gold medal there. Awesome. Okay. It's, yeah, luckily we weren't asked to save. Also, another quick thing I have to mention is that um, I will not be showing the cutscenes in this game, which are just get cutscenes from the movie because um, Disney and all that um, will sue. So, yeah. Let's go up. And here's another cutscene. Excellent work, gentlemen. Now. In order to hone your skills so that you can become top scare producers, we're going to make things a bit more challenging. Oh well, at least we made it this far. Hey! Your first destination is Urban Field. Not to worry now, just follow that path there and you'll be fine. Remember, at Monsters Incorporated, we recognize that our strongest assets are you, our employees. Um, in the next part, we will be starting the first level, which is City Park. Um, so, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you soon.